Welcome back to module 6 of the unit analysis of time series and we will continue with the method of list squares in this module. Recall that in the previous module we have talked about how to fit a line using the method of list squares and in this module we will talk about how to fit a parabolic trend or a curve to a given uh, time series. Okay. Now, uh, uh, while we fit a line in the previous module, we assume that the data that we have considered behaves like a linear, okay, so that we can fit a line to it. Like if you look at the uh, picture here, now this graph or this data points can assume to be behaving linearly and that's how I can fit a line to it. In case the data itself does not follow a linear trend, then there is no point fitting a line like this. Okay, let's say for example, if you consider uh, this plot. Okay. Now, if you look at the behavior here, we cannot really say that, uh, say that the data or the time series here behaves like a linear, okay, uh, because we saw, uh, see sort of a curve here. So, in that case, instead of fitting a line, okay, we would recommend fitting a curve to it, maybe something like this, a parabolic trend. So, in case the data behaves something like this, then we fit a parabolic trend to the time series. Now, the only difference in the method that we have discussed earlier and this is, there we use an equation of a line, here we would uh, use the equation of a parabolic curve. Okay. So, the equation that we assume here is uh, that y, that is the time series y and the time t, okay, the relation can be expressed as y equal to a plus bt plus c into t square. Okay. So, this is the term that will take care of the curve part. Now, here there are three unknowns A, B, C. So, accordingly to find out these three parameters A, B, C, we will need three equations, the three normal equations, okay, which will be given, uh, which will be found by using these equations. Summation y is equal to n times a plus b summation t plus c summation t square. Summation t y equal to a summation t plus b summation t square plus c summation t cube and summation t square y is equal to a summation t square plus b summation t cube plus c summation t raised to 5. Okay. Now, for again the sake of for the sake of remembering, you can see that if I multiply t to this equation t y a t b t square and c t cube, I will get the second equation and if I multiply t square throughout, then what I will get is the third equation. Okay. So, uh, these are the normal equations, this, these are called as the normal equations or the least square equations and they will be used in finding the values of a, b and c. Once we get the values of a, b, c, we will substitute in this equation and that is the equation of the trend that we are looking at. Of course, similar to what we did earlier, we will transform this parameter t, uh, the variable t in terms of another variable x for the sake of uh, uh, convenience in computation. Otherwise, the procedure remains the same. Okay. So, let us say if I have this data here. Okay. So, I have the data for the years 2006 to 2010 okay, of sales of some company. Uh, so, these are the values 10, 12, 16, 19, 25. Let us say I want to fit a parabolic trend to it. Okay. We know that y is equal to a plus b t plus c t square is the equation of the line. Now, for the sake of computation, what we do is we transform this t in terms of x. The same way now depending on the number of terms which are uh, if it is odd or even. Now, in this case, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have exactly a middle year. So, the number of years is or the number of uh, periods is odd. So, what I'll do is I'll do I'll define this x as equal to uh, this variable x. I'll define it as, it as equal to t minus 2008. So, this is how we will define uh, x because I have exactly one middle here I can define it like this. So, the equation that we will be actually solving will be in terms of y and x and not y and t. So, it will be a plus b x plus c x square and the normal equations then can be written as summation y is equal to n times a plus b summation x plus c summation x square summation x y is equal to a summation x plus b summation x square 
plus c summation x cube summation x square y is equal to a summation x square plus b summation x cube plus c summation x raised to 4. Okay, so we will start with this as the equation and we will find the values of a, b, c using these three equations. Once we got this equation, we can always transform it in terms of t by going back to x is equal to t minus 2008 in this case. Okay, so let us continue solving it. So I have t and I have y. So what I need is uh, x, it is equal to t minus 2008, that is the middle year here. And accordingly in the equation, in the three normal equations that I wrote, I need x square, I need x cube, I need x raised to 4, I need xy and I need x square y. Okay, if you, just, if you write down the normal equations, I, I have a summation y is equal to n times a plus b summation x plus c summation x square. Then I have summation xy is equal to a summation x plus b summation x square plus c summation x cube. And summation x square y is equal to a summation x square plus b summation x cube plus c summation x raised to 4. So I need summation x square, that's why I made a column for x square. I need x cube, so I made a column for x cube. I need x raised to 4, so column for x raised to 4. I need summation x y, so column for x y. And summation x square y, so I made a column for x square y. So let us start putting these values. Now x is defined as t minus 2008. So when I put t equal to 2008 here, 2008 minus 2008 will be equal to 0. When I put 2007 here, this will be minus 1. When I put 2006, it will be minus 2. For 2009, it will be 1. For 2010, it will be 2. So that summation x is equal to 0. And this is the reason why we are defining this x like this, so that summation x will be equal to 0. And this will simplify in calculating the further things. Then x square, so square of uh, x values, minus 2 square is 4, minus 1 square is 1, 0, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4. So summation x square, if I add all these values, that will come to 10, 5 plus 5. Then x cube, minus 2 cube is minus 8, minus 1 cube is minus 1, 0, 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 8. If I add all these terms, summation x cube, minus 8 plus 8 and minus 1 plus 1 will cancel, I'll get 0. So because I defined x like this, even summation x cube comes to 0. So the, all these terms are going to be 0 in, when we are going to solve these equations. x raised to 4 is the square of x square again or minus 2 raised to 4. 4 square is 16, uh, 1 square is 1, 0, 1, 1 square is 1 and 4 square is 16. That is 2 raised to 4. 2 raised to 4 is 16. Minus 2 raised to 4 is also 16. x into y. So then we will find out x, this x into y. So minus 2 into 10 is minus 20. Minus 1 into 12 is minus 12. Then we have 0 into 16, 1 into 19, 19 and 2 into 25, 50. Okay, so summation x, y that I need here, if I add all these values, that comes to 37. And the summation x raised to 4 that we need here, that comes to 34. The same way we need x square y, so you will multiply x square with y value. So 4 into 10 is 40. Then we need a uh, 1 into 12 that is 12 and then next will be 0 because all these values are 0 then 1 into 19 is 19 and 4 into 25 is 100 so if I add all this summation x square y this will come to 171 so I have to substitute these things in these three equations so summation, uh, the first equation here, summation y, uh, we also need summation y, so I have to add all these values, that comes to 82. So the first equation here is 82 is equal to, n, n here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that is 5, a plus b into 0, 
the summation x here is 0 plus c into x raised to 4 summation x raised to 4 is 10. The second equation summation xy is 37 that is equal to a into summation x summation x is 0 plus b into summation x square summation x square is 10 plus c into summation x cube that is also 0. And the third equation summation x square y is 171 that is equal to a into summation x square that is 10 plus b into summation x cube summation x cube is 0 plus c into summation x raised to 4 that is equal to 34. Now if you look at equation the second equation here this is 0 and this is also 0. So I will straight away get the value of b. b value will be equal to 37 divided by this 10 which is equal to 3.7. So I got the value of b straight away. Now I have to only find out the value of a and c by solving these two equations. Okay. So if I just write down those two equations here, then the two equations that I have are 5a. Okay. Basically I have 82 is equal to 5a plus 10c and I have 171 is equal to 10a plus 34c. Okay, so I can use elimination method. I can I may try to eliminate this a here. So what you do is multiply the second equation by a uh, first equation by 2. Okay, this equation I multiply by 2 so that I will get 10a here. So this equation here is 164 that is equal to 10a plus 20c and the second equation as it is 171 is equal to 10a plus 34c. Okay, so if I subtract this uh, this equation from this equation, this minus this 171 minus uh, 164 that will give me 14 uh, uh, 7 175 minus 164 is 7 is equal to 10a minus 10a is going to be 0 plus 34 minus 20 is 14c. So this will give me c value that is going to be equal to 7 divided by 14 which is 1 upon 2 or 0 0.5. Once I got the value of c, I can use one of this equation in finding the value of uh, a. Okay, so I substitute this value of c in uh, say the first equation. So I have 82 uh, that is this equation 82 is equal to 5a plus 10 into 0 0.5 so I have 82 is equal to 5a plus 2 or 5a is equal to 82 minus 2 that is equal to 80 and that will be equal to oh this is 5 this is 5 10 into 0 0.5 is uh, so that is 5 so 80, uh, 82 minus 5 is going to be equal to, this is going to be equal to 77. So I want the value of A, A will be equal to 77 divided by 5, that will come to 15.4. So I got A as well, okay, so the equation is equal to A, that is 15.4 plus B that is 3.7 that we found earlier x plus c that is 0 0.5 x square so this is the equation of the parabolic trend that we are looking at if you want you can shift transform this equation in terms of t by writing t is equal to x is equal to t minus 2008 in that case you will get this equation in terms of y and t so in case you want to predict some value Okay, suppose you want to find the value for uh, uh, say t is equal to 2010 the next year okay the sales for the next year so for t equal to 10 2010 okay x is equal to 2010 minus 2008 that is 2 so all that you have to do is you find you will put this value of x that is 2 in this equation so y is equal to 15.4 plus 3.7 into 2 plus 0 0.5 into 2 square. Okay, so if you just calculate this, this comes to 30.6.
let us go to the next example okay so here i have prices of a commodity from 2011 to 2016 the prices higher here are in rupees now the difference in this example is only that here the number of data points is even so accordingly the change will be only in terms of the way we define x okay we are looking at the equation a is equal to a plus b t plus c t square but we transform this t in terms of x and here the way we will define x is because the number of years here is even x will be defined as uh, it will be t minus the arithmetic mean of the middle two years that is 2013 plus 2014 divided by 2 divided by half into the interval interval here is 1 the difference between the consecutive years so x accordingly will be equal to it will be t minus 2013.5 divided by 1 upon 2 or you take this 2 on top it will be 2 into t minus 2013.5 so the equation that you are finding is y, uh, y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square with the same normal equations except that here x now in this case is defined as this so we go to the table here so based on the normal equations what we need is uh, x of course here which is 2 times t minus 2013.5 then we will need x square we will need x cube we will need x raised to 4 we will need xy and we will need x square y okay so you have to just fill in these values here uh, now when you find out the x value for 2013 this will come to minus 1 and for 2014 it will come to plus 1 this will be minus 3 this will be minus 5 this will be 3 this will be 5 so that when I find out summation x this is going to be equal to 0 we also need summation y that so if you have to add all these values this will come to 848 Okay. x square values are 25 9 so minus 5 square minus 3 square minus 1 square 1 square 3 square and 5 square x cube values minus 5 square minus 20 uh, minus 1 25 minus 3 square is minus 27 this will be minus 1 this is 1 3 square is 27 5 square is 125 so that when I add all this summation x cube values, they will all cancel each other, I will get 0. And this is the reason why we are defining this x like this. Summation x square, if I add all these values here, will come to 70. The same way we need x raised to 4. So you have to find x raised to 4 values. So we can find out 25 square. So that will come to 625. Okay, 9 square is 81, this will remain as 1, this will be 1, this will be 81, and this will be 625. So if you add x raised to 4 values, this will come to 1, 4, 1, 4. Summation x, y value, that is the next that you need, so you will multiply x with y values. So 100 into minus 5 is minus 500. 107 into minus 3 is minus 3. 321 128 into minus 1 is minus 128 140 into 1 is 140 181 into 3 is 543 and 192 into 5 is 960 if you add these values okay, this comes to 694 and then you need x square y so you multiply x square values with y values 100 into 25 is 2500 0, 0. 963 is the next value 9 into 107 this will be 128 this will be 140 181 into 9 is 1629 and 192 into 25 is 4800 0. if you substitute uh, add this value summation x square y will come to 1016 so all that you have to do is now substitute these values in the normal equations the first normal equation is summation y summation y is 848 is equal to 
n here is 6 there are 6 here 6 into a plus b into summation x that is 0 plus c into summation x square which is 70. The second equation is summation xy which is 640, uh, 694 it is equal to a into summation x that is 0 plus b into summation x square that is 70 plus c into summation x cube that is 0. Finally, the last equation summation x square y is 10160. It is equal to a into summation x square 70 plus b into summation x cube that is 0 plus c into summation x raised to 4, 1, 4, 1, 4. The second equation again the same way will straight away give you the value of b. b value because this term is 0, this term is 0. So b is 694 divided by 70 okay and this will come to 9.914 so you're left with only these two equations that you need to solve to find out the value of a and c okay so these equations let me rewrite 848 is equal to 6a this 6a plus 70c and i have 10160 equal to 70a plus 1414 C. Okay, you have to solve these two equations simultaneously. Okay, maybe try to get rid of A. So, if you have to get rid of A, then you have to multiply this by 35 and this equation by 3. Okay, so that you will get 210 here and 210 here. Okay, so if I say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2, the first equation I am multiplying by 35 and then I am uh, multiplying the second equation uh, by 3 and I am subtracting them. What you will get is 29680 minus 3480. Okay. It is equal to this A term will cancel okay. and you will get 2450C when you multiply 35 here minus 4242C. Uh, Okay, after cancelling this term. Okay, so what we get is minus 800 is equal to minus 1792C or this will give me the value of C that is equal to 800 upon 1792 it is equal to 0 0.446. This value of C then you can substitute in this first equation and that will give you the value of A. So 848 is equal to A. Uh, 6a plus uh, you substitute this uh, c 0.446 here so you multiply it by 70 it will be 31.22 this will give you the value of a that is equal to 848 minus 31.22 and then cross multiply this 6 divide by 6 so a will come to 136.13 so you have found the value of a as well so the equation that you are looking at is a plus bx plus cx square. So a you found it as 136.13 plus b you had found it as 9.914x uh, plus c value is 0 0.446 into x square. This is the equation of the parabolic trend that you are looking at. You can use it in estimating the value of y for any value of x or for any value of t depending on which year you want to predict it. You can use this equation in even finding what are the values on the line for each of the year that you have fit.